Welcome back, everybody, to our YouTube channel. My name is Tamo, and today I'm here with my colleague Jörg. How are you doing, Jörg? Pretty good, Tamo. How are you? I'm very good, Jörg. Now we want to talk about a serious topic. The German job market 2024. We want to look back and uh, give you our five cents about the situation. Is the German tech and IT job market dead? That's a nice question, Tomo, because we know that you have been wondering the same thing, uh, not just on YouTube, also in direct messages, on social media, and of course when we're together, possibly in a strategy call before joining the, the personal coaching program that we run. First of all, people, a job market can never be dead by definition. So you want to rephrase the question and want to really think of what is currently happening That means what has happened, what is going to happen. There is a direct correlation between, of course, the German job market and economic cycles. Economic cycles, just like in any market economy, like in Germany, are, of course, affected by global circumstances. What global circumstances come to mind, Tamo? Well, of course, the Russian war in Ukraine, uh, starting now two years ago. Exactly. And we did have, of course... Uh, very many layoffs from tech companies that had really, really grown their employer employee base in the U.S. Uh, valley companies have really, really shrunk the size of their team bases. Yeah, I mean that was. You all know that you know all the big companies like Facebook, Google, all of them, Intel, and so on and so forth. They drastically reduced staff over the last two years. I mean they've hired a lot during COVID. Um, got rid of a lot of people in the last two years and what we saw globally that the tech and IT market somehow collapsed a little bit. And what happened in fact was that for people to enter the market from outside Europe, those without a permit, those without a blue card, those that are not yet here, they would see more difficulties in, let's break it down, getting calls from companies than let's say, in the years before. That is the real direct effect that we, yes, have also been witnessing, honestly and truly. And um, you're right, mostly for people with uh, more of a junior profile. So two, three years ago, you know, everybody with like three years of work experience got an offer here. That's also the truth, right? You could get from university, get offer. Absolutely. Now it's a bit different. Now um, also we changed our regulations. We only work with people with five years plus of experience because they still have good chances. And, and it's also the truth. Really, honestly, might well be that we're going to change that again once we see that people with less experience are also getting calls again. But it doesn't make any sense for us to board people onto the program and sell you the program if you're most likely not going to get any calls at all. Yeah. One thing that you just said brings me back to what I stated in the beginning, economic cycles. Right now in Germany, let's talk numbers, we're talking really stagnation. For the last two years now. Nothing's really happened. Very, very small amount of degrowth. They are now predicting a small growth phase again, 0.4%. So really nothing's happening. But of course, the market comes and goes in waves because companies also keep on hiring in waves. Uh, for example, there is a procurement plan in the company or there is an investment. And those investments is what we've seen so vastly taking place, especially during the phases of 2019 and 20 and 2021, when interest rates were really still low because it became kind of a fashion for people to put their money into startups. And that's when you saw all these junior positions for JavaScript pop up. That is no longer really the case. And as long as investments are held back, that literally translates into less openings on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, StepStone, Indeed, whatever. Yeah, exactly. And the good news for you is that we see at the moment that the number of jobs is getting stable and is getting better again. And the forecast for next year is way more positive for all kind of roads. Mm -hmm. Also, the economic forecast, you said it, is now more positive um, for the uh, next year. And uh, very importantly, we're going to have uh, elections in the beginning of 2025 in February. So the German government now collapsed, there's going to be a new government and um, 
we at least hope that then this will also lead to um, yeah, economic growth again, which then will transform into more open positions for tech and IT people. And let us also say uh, one thing. Structurally, the structure demand in tech and IT is still huge. There are 100,000 open positions in tech and IT in Germany. What is happening right now is just that companies are waiting to spend their money mm -hmm. to hire ag more aggressively and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. And what's actually happened on the side of the companies is a fact that we call zero tolerance hiring, meaning because there is more unemployed tech and IT professionals in Germany right now than before, there is no shortage as much anymore, which means it's no longer the companies that have to really knock on so many doors until a developer or a tech and IT professional will respond. It's really now the opposite to a certain extent where they, the companies, can choose who exactly they really, really like because they're getting more applications than they used to. As Tamo was saying, this is going to change again. And we're pretty certain of this. The reason that makes us certain of this is, again, markets always comes and goes in waves. You want to be on the top of that wave when it hits you, by the way. That is why, Tamo, what would you be saying if I asked you, should I now start looking for a job in Germany or should I wait? I mean, if you are self-confident, if you have more than five years of experience, you shouldn't wait for any kind of market to influence your decision because... It's a lifelong decision on whether or not you're going to be moving to another country. Exactly, and you can be 100% sure. I mean, we had our best year ever, and, <laughs> and what can we say? If you're good, right, you're gonna still going to get enough interviews and you're going to get a good offer and you can move here. And our workaround, to make this absolutely clear, is... Yes, we do sometimes advertise that this will take approximately three months, but that is the average time of all the people in our program combined. We're talking about 20 different roles in tech and IT almost. Now, our workaround is always, we work with you as long as it takes because it really likely may take longer simply because you're not gonna be getting calls on a frequent basis at, during one month compared to another. That is perfectly normal, and this is why it's a marathon and not a sprint. That is where we accompany you. To make a long story short, yes, the tech and IT market is under pressure, but on the other side, tech and IT is and will be in the future the field in Germany where structural demand for talented people is extremely high and will not go away. So if you want to move, if you're confident in your skills, if you have the necessary experience, don't wait for any economy situation whatsoever to do your move. Plan it strategically, and then you're going to be successful. And those who are in our program, they really like the job security, because once you're here, being let go isn't that easy. You need to pass probation for that, of course. That's true. <laughs> Another video for that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're interested, watch our video training to understand how we work. We're going to assess your profile, and then we're going to work with you. And soon, you're going to be in Germany and get a taste of how it is to live and work in Germany. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.